What's up? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. Good, Good to see you. Howdy. Hello, everybody. Hello. Chris here from MNPR Soundcheck, and we are here with Nali Coat. Yeah, mm -hmm. from Vintage Trouble. So, Nali, thank you very much for yeah, having yeah. us, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and let's talk about gear. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's start with those babies. Thank yeah, How uh, is this? this is my new favorite guitar. This is uh, Collings. Uh, it's a little Austin, Texas company. Okay. Uh, they made, uh, it's kind of like a small 335 guitar. Yep. But uh, I ended up playing some of their acoustic guitars and I was blown away how nice they were. So uh -huh. took a kind of a chance on, on picking one of these guitars up and, and just, just been blown away. And I, this is my new favorite guitar. I think it fits really well to Vintage Trouble music. Yeah. We kind of do a blend between soul, blues, and is rock it? and roll. Uh -huh. And so it has a little bit of a softer tone and a less pop. Uh -huh. So I think it, it's great. And it's and it super looked, light. And it looks so cool. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, and it's very thin. Uh-huh. And way way less than a Les Paul. Oh, so yeah, it kind of saves my <laughs> shoulder too, you know. But don't get me wrong, I, I still love my Les Paul I like too, you. You know? got yeah. to love a Les Paul, yeah, yeah. yeah man. I yeah. can show you that one too. Yeah, you. yeah. Let's uh, do it. But yeah, this is great. It's awesome. And, uh, I just picked it up. And uh, I ended it, up actually. Is it new or like or like an old guitar? Like is like. No, it's brand new. Brand new. Yeah, brand new. And I ended up. It's it's so actually crack. called blue it's now. So cool. Yeah, right. They're it's getting a, so good, like in these like vintage style. Yeah, I guess thing. this is kind of their vintage series of it. It's called an I thirty five. Uh huh. And. Uh, and it looks so yeah. good. Yeah. Checkings and the cracks and. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. 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 I guess they, they, it's something called throwback uh, pickups okay. on it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I didn't realize they, that was in it when I bought the guitar, but it sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I left it at that. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we obviously have, oh, uh, yeah, this man. is Easy. Oh, yeah. I, I named her Easy. And uh, this is uh, uh, Les Paul from 2019. 2019. Yeah, it's the 60th anniversary. 60th anniversary, of yeah. The, yeah. Uh, it's just a great guitar. Oh my. Uh, they keep some is like on the Yeah, on I the felt track. like yeah. th when they made this uh, the 60th anniversary, uh, it felt like they found home, you know. Yeah, yeah, Suddenly yeah. it became the really specs, nice. Yeah. yeah, neck feels great. I didn't really do much to it, you know. It's just got like a, Stop you know. Because. No, actually, it's a friend of mine called uh, Ron Ellis okay. in, in uh, California. Right. He's an incredible pickup builder. Uh, so that's the only thing I kind of uh, changed on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pots are original. Pots are well. yes, just regular CTS. Regular CTS. And I, and you know I I I used them up up a lot because my whole thing is to kind of. Uh, I keep, uh, I'd go into the pedals later, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but I kind of keep it dirty all the time yeah. and just turn down on the, on the volume yeah, here. So I can go, uh, you know, Whoa. so yeah, so it can get, <laughs> so uh, sorry for that, being loud. But yeah, it's, uh, so that's a mini guitar too. It's beautiful. And then uh, when we tour like this, okay. uh, we're across the Atlantic Ocean for yep. us, so I bring basically two guitars, the okay. Callings and the Les Paul, and then Gibson is usually uh, really kind to me and let me use, because uh, I use a guitar for open tuning too. Open tuning, is it is open, open G. G? Open G. Yeah, so, sorry, messing up your microphone there, but uh, yeah, they let me use uh, Les Paul and on those, I throw on really heavy strings. Okay. These are flat wounds too, because uh, oh. I play slide on. I, I let you hear it so you can check it out. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I'm kind of a, a bad slide player, so I really need Come heavy on. strings. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, string-wise, what, what gauge that you're using for the normal all the, guitars? All the uh, regular guitars are all uh, Diadario NYXLs 10 to 46. 10 to 46. Yeah, bass. And these, so this, I've, uh, I found out a few years ago when I'm playing slide, because I play with a brass slide and okay. it's really noisy. Okay. So if I, f I found these old uh, jazz strings 
and they're all flat wounds, oh. and uh, they're 12 to 52s. Okay. So, uh, so when you play slide, instead of making, because this one is really noisy, you know, but I like it because it's got a really mean tone uh -huh. to it, you know, like the... You know, with the flat ones, it just you can slide really easy on it. Uh -huh. So that's a good tip for slide players. You want to try it? Just get like light gauge. It's actually it's called light g jazz light strings, but they're really heavy <laughs> and they're <laughs> flat ones. I don't know why. No, yeah. Really so mind. that's it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's as far as the guitars. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like you, you, yeah. you got a big arsenal here yeah yeah you do well i feel like with these three guitars i can get all Cobra the sounds like that we yeah. we need for the for the shows Lovely. for sure in the studio i using telecasters okay. and gretches and les pauls and whatever is needed for the song well, you, you go to the road like and traveling like you're traveling for like two months now like around the europe like you have to yeah, I mean, of course, I'm a guitar player. Cool, I wish like I could yeah. have 50 <laughs> guitars from you. But, oh, yeah. But, uh, but in a few years. We'll do. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. 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 And I'll see you in a few years. We're going to have a whole boat of you got guitars. That? You got that. It's yeah. coming. It's cool. coming. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about pedals. Yep. 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 Let me put this thing away. Yep. Um, well, where do you, I guess we go from the start. Yeah, uh, let's do it. I'm, I'm a... Uh, I'm a big fan of Boss. Okay. They, uh, they, it just works. Yeah. And the main thing when you're on the road, yeah, like I told you to work, before we started, work, is yeah. it has to work. <laughs> and I feel like they got they build really killer stuff uh -huh. that really sturdy and can take the tour uh, tour beating. You know, being on the road. Uh -huh. So this is a kind of a, a their switching system. Yep. So all my pedals are running through. So I basically have, I just go from song to song. Oh, okay. So, so you got a preset for every yeah, song? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I pretty much use the same <laughs> thing for every song. Uh -huh. I'm, uh, it looks fancier than it is. And right now I'm going into an, an Octavia pedal. Okay. I should play that for you because it's actually really cool. Lovely. Uh, those, uh, the only thing with like an old Octavias and Fuss pedals, you can't really run through, uh, through the a switching system. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it makes a sound, uh, they kind of need to have the tone from, um, straight from the guitar. Yep. Yeah, because they, it sounds way warmer and they're like, the. That's <laughs> great. So uh, some songs we use that, and then also before, the only other pedal I use run before is a Fuzz. A fuzz. Uh, and both of these are uh, from a, a friend of mine called, uh, have a company called Chase Tone. Yeah. Chase Tone. <laughs> fuzz, yeah, very nice. So cool. Yeah. yeah. And then everything else is in the loop. Uh -huh. uh, and then I pick, and uh, it's a Cali compressor. I used you use to use it like for cleans or. Well, like I mean, a couple of years ago I used it almost all the time. Uh huh. But now I use it more for the slide playing, or okay. maybe just a little boost. Uh, <laughs> it feels like it's just doing adds a little more like. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Then I have a song called that Rotosonic, Rotosonic. from Keeley. Uh -huh. That I love. It's kind of like a uni vibe. The, from the name of the pedal, it makes it sound like it's a Leslie, Leslie. thing, but I use it more like a uni vibe. It's got like the. Yeah. yeah. It's got like a really. I feel with those, 
with that kind of uh, effect, you want to run it before all the drives. Before. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, warm, so fat yeah, tone, yeah, yeah. you know? Uh, then I have it Wawa loop. I used to, I don't use the Wawa so much, so I put it in a loop. So mm. it actually goes on the side, as a, so I can, you know, uh, so I don't have to have, it, have, have another pedal going through everything, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I have to say, uh, shout out to Exotic uh, uh, Pedals, Guitars and pedals. Yep. They uh, hooked me up with this wah, and it's it's three quarter size, and it's okay, probably okay. So it's not so short, like as a, a yeah, the primary, mini like, ones. Mini, because uh, that's too weird. It is. I don't feel like I, I can't I, stand. <laughs> <laughs> but this one yep. you can set like uh, old seventies wah or Hendrix wah. Okay, or, so it has different presets. Yeah, so. all okay. different presets, and it's just fantastic. <laughs> We uh, used a little more wow on the last album we made, Heavy okay. Hymnal, so that's, that's a fa new favorite. Lovely. And then uh, this one is, uh, is a German pedal. More a friend land. of mine just gave me that, and uh, it's, it's a little bit, as you can hear, it's a little bit noisy, but that's the one that I keep on all the time. All the time. Yeah. So it basically is a tube screen. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the guy who made the original Nobles pedals. Okay. Yeah, and he started his own company now. And, mm. uh, and, but it does sound... Yeah. And I love how it cleans up. And you know, I get... Yeah. It's really well. Yeah. So I do keep that on the whole time. Cool. No matter what. I, do you stack uh, drives or like? You yeah. Just, like, yeah. So the next one is the the clone. The clone. Yeah. Like I. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the KTR version. It's a little smaller one. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it feel it, it's a uh, it's grim. <laughs> with both of them on. And then you can hear it by, by itself. Is the clone pushing the Nordland or the Northern? Nordland pushing the, the, the clone. clone, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then I have a, this one is an old uh, tremolo that I, for some reason, <laughs> every pedal board, it comes on. And it's just have one setting, but there's something about it that I always... I love, yeah. Like it's warm, like... Yeah, like and it, 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 like it, it's, and it's just tremble. like gain to it. And I, it's just got like a... Uh -huh. So always sit on the same thing, but yeah. no matter what, but... But whenever I kind of feel a nice vibe, like it's, it's perfect to put on. And then I got the two boss things that kind yeah. of do everything. Uh, and then I do have that set to a tremolo too. <laughs> but, uh, but it does, got, yeah, so I can use, use it as a less. Really? Yeah. I have to go wild. Yeah. And it, it has a lot of different things. Uh, and I found it, it it's uh, for uh, when we play live, it works great. You okay. know, have different. But most of the time, I just kind of set to a, a slow tremolo. You know, you know, just a little bit. Just give some. Yeah. Are you running the amps uh, in stereo or mono? Yeah. Stereo. stereo. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Let's talk about amps. So. You got some lazy J. Uh, yeah, lazy J. So those are called J20s. J20s, uh, yeah. It's a 20 watt uh, 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 based on a Fender, uh, Fender Deluxe amp, yeah. Tweed Deluxe. 
uh, it's an extension cap. They use blue Alnico speakers in them. Um, 10 inches? No, 12, 12, 12 yeah. inches. So very basic. It's just got a volume and one tone, uh -huh. which I love. It's, it's so easy. And uh, so that side is the Lacey J's, right? Uh huh. And we have Lacey J cabinets here. Uh, same speakers, okay. but this amp, and I, I feel bad I, how to say his name properly, Van uh, 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 Lach, Van Lach, <laughs> Dutch, uh, okay. and it's basically kind of a, a, a dumbbell steel stringer situation. Okay. So a clean 6v6 uh, uh, kind of fenderish amp, yeah. but it's got a extreme nice fatness to it and. And it probably could take a little bit more high-end speakers. Okay. Because it's 50 watts, so it sounds like I'm running it pretty loud here, but we're keeping it down so we don't blow the speakers. But uh, are they running the both amps all the time? All the time. Okay. So this is so so this side is this amp, and uh, that's yep. a lazy, and we run it together all the time. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And that's it. Yeah, man. Simple. Simple like, I don't know but effective simple. like, yeah, it's yeah, amazing, yeah, yeah. man. Thank you very yeah, much thank for you. having us. Absolutely, yeah. I'll see you tonight. See, and, yeah, uh, definitely, We're gonna Looking play forward. for you guys, all right? Yeah. Yeah, take man. care the next time. Cheers. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye.